EVGA. EVGA Precision X4 has arrived, and with it are a ton of new features, especially if you own the brand new GeForce GTX Titan. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. The card that I'm using to overclock is the GeForce GTX Titan. This particular card does support GPU boost technology which allows the clock speeds to dynamically change depending on the load. So as I run this benchmark here, you can see my clocks increase. Now there are a couple of new features that are exclusive for the GeForce GTX Titan. For example, I have two sliders here, one for the power target and one for the temperature target. The temperature target is brand new and exclusive to Titan. What this does is when I set a custom value, it allows the car to try to maintain this temperature and it does this by dropping voltage and dropping clocks. So if I set a temperature target of 80 degrees Celsius, the card will try to maintain 80 degrees Celsius. I also have the ability to prioritize the temperature target. If I do this, this allows the card to drop the clocks below base clock if necessary. Now let's talk about a brand new feature that revolves around voltage. So if I hit the voltage and tweaks button, I now have an over voltage button. If I click this, a warning message will pop up. If I accept that, I am now allowed to increase the voltage by using an offset voltage. When I enable the over voltage function, I'm able to increase my voltage by another 38 millivolts. Also note that this feature is exclusive for the GeForce GTX Titan. Another great feature of EVGA Precision is a robust fan control system. So what I can do is change my fan speed, or I can set a custom fan curve. To do this, I click on the fan curve button, and now I can see my fan curve and adjust all the points that I want. Doing this allows me to create a fan profile that best suits my needs. Another great feature of EVGA Precision X is a very in-depth monitoring system. So if I double click the graphs at the bottom of UJ Precision, I will be able to see a bunch of values that I can monitor in real time. I can also further customize this by selecting any items that I do or do not want to see. Also, I can choose to monitor any of these via an on-screen display. So to do this, I go back to the monitoring tab and select the items that I want to show on my on-screen display. I do this by selecting the checkbox. Now these items will show in any full screen 3D application. So it makes it really easy to see what my card is doing in real time. So now let's talk about another brand new feature for EVGA Precision X4. If you click the options button, you'll see a new category here called pixel clock control properties. What this does is allow me to overclock my refresh rate. Overclocking your pixel clock is not guaranteed and may vary depending on the monitor model that you have. To use this tool, it's as simple as selecting the monitor that you want to control and dragging the slider. After that, select apply and the new refresh rate will be tested. This is a great feature for anyone who owns a monitor that is capable of overclocking, in particular if you use VSync. So there you have it, EVGA Precision X version 4. If you want to download it for free, you can do so at www.evga.com forward slash precision. <laughs>